It's your boy Nanguri in the house back with another bang on video. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've got more news and everything about Arsenal for you guys. So make sure you sit back, relax, enjoy all the news that's coming your way. The first news that we we are actually coming up with, though th this is a very sad news, but still nothing has actually happened. But still, Arsenal AS PM Rico Bamiang caught on camera after crashing his 27 two oh, sorry two <laughs> 270k pound Lamborghini supercar. Well. Here's, uh, you know, is a shot. You can see the images. Arsenal goal, uh, you know, the uh, highest goal scorer for this season for Pierre Mikko Bamiyang. He's not proud of it, but he has actually crumpled the bonnet of his uh, silver Aventador after a prank with a Mercedes of M25 near Porter's Baha for Chaya. Well, uh, well, he was heading home from training on Friday, but no one was thought to be hurt following the crash. And on look, I said it was rush hours, so cars were not going fast and traveling around them. But it still happened. Well, uh, the uh, Aubameyang who had his motor wrapped in chrome gold in November is no stranger to show off his cars on social media. Well, he is known to be a huge fan of supercars. He's proud owner of a uh, 1 million Ferrari, which, which is just uh, 499 of them were ever made. And he also has Range Rover Sport Mansour, Porsche, Panamera Turbo, Tishart and an Aston Martin D89 Volante 2 in his ever-growing car collection. Well, since he played the game, I know there's nothing wrong with it, but please take care, Pierre. Moving on, Mesut Ozil should be sainted like Arsenal legends Henri or Burkamp, but he's part of the awkward squad. It is believed that the squad around Mesut Ozil is not enough to make good use of him. Moving on, Arsenal Football Club accept the absence of domestic matches will increase the noise around Emery and they are determined not to let it influence their thoughts or actions. James Olley posted this, he said... There is sympathy with the head coach over the difficulties Arsenal have faced this season, including Lauren Koscielny forcing through a move to Bordeaux and the attempted carjacking suffered by Mesut Ozil and Sayer Kolasinac in North London during pre-season. Arsenal's win percentage is now at 33%, its lowest level in the Premier League other than George Graham in 1994-1995. We finished 12th that season. Emery has stated that Pepe's adaptation is slower than we expected. We are showing him videos of where he can improve. Also, Tony Adams on Pierre, uh, on uh, Unai Emery said, I think it's easy to blame Emery and he's got a group of players here that he's doing his best with. I think it's a bigger problem than this coach. It really is. Well, I also believe it's the problem of the players. I saw the game yesterday and I thought that uh, Alexander Lacazette was bang average. I really did. I don't know why. He should have finished... Uh, the first goal should have been ours, but we were sloppy. The involvement of Alexander Lacazette, I felt, was quite sloppy. Uh, also, well, I think uh, the way he was persistent enough in the game against Liverpool, it was really great to see that. But the persistence did not did not last uh, when when we saw uh, when I saw him against Leicester. Genduzi, bang average, bang average. These players are not doing the job well. I don't, I don't know why. Torreira was quite okay. Aubameyang was the light, I mean the only light which I could see from the left or from the right, whichever part of the wings that he was in. He was good. Hector Bellerin, bang average. Bang average in defending, bang average in crossing. Always ready to lose the ball in your own territory. I don't know, man. I mean, look at Rob Holding. I mean, he's always caught napping. I really don't like the fact that uh, even against Vitoria, uh, uh, sorry, I think uh, even against uh, Liverpool, the fifth goal that came that, that uh, came through, Holding was napping. I mean, why? Uh, holding, I think after injury, Holding, Bellerin and Lacazette, I don't think so. They are the same players which we saw last season. And probably it's before the Tottenham game. I, I, I never doubted Lacazette's quality, but something is wrong. I mean, we are creating very less chances compared to what we should have. But I don't think so. We are... We are, we, are, we, are, we are making sure that all those chances are converted and that's really sad because uh, uh, you you might argue with the fact that you know the teams like us should create 20 chances and probably 10 of those could, could be on target and probably we should score 4-5 goals but that's not the case even if we get 4 chances we're not even making sure those 4 out of those 4 even 1 goes in and that's really sad for me I really don't like it well that was according to me the game yesterday and uh, probably probably I know that we can bounce back because after the international break it's going to be a very tough 
two whole months would be bang tough for us and before christmas i don't know where we could be but i think since others are dropping points we just need to hope chelsea and leicester are stopped by other teams but nonetheless i think we need to come back with more victories only not no drawing anymore we need victories and i think i think i just hope something uh, there is a turn around in the next uh, after the international break well these were the news of the day i hope you enjoyed whatever came your way the international break is really long but make sure you subscribe because you are going to get every single day all the news about arsenal only on this channel so make sure you subscribe and be a part of this community i will see you in my next video until then cheers